a lot of contractors are subbing work out now. Do you see any new threats and liabilities in using subs on their sites since the virus started? And what measures um, can they take to help limit that exposure? Yeah, well, you know, it's always uh, uh, there's always liability that filters up to the prime contractor. So if a roofing company is using a subcontract labor crew, that subcontract labor crew are, are subject to all the, the rules that the prime contractor is for because the prime contractor is the one that's liable. And so, right. um, so in this case, you need to make sure that whatever social distancing and hygiene principles that you would use in your own company with your own workforce or crews that you, that you require, and I would do this right. requirement in writing that any yeah. sub crew do that. And, and you know, with sub, sub crews uh, create a, a, a secondary level of uh, risk because with all these shelter in place orders going on around the country and who's essential and who's not, we're not fully certain whether subcontract trades would be covered under a letter that the that the roofing company provides to their employees. We have we have sample letters that you should have your employees carry in their vehicles, explaining why they're on the road or at a at a building, because if if they should be questioned by the police or anybody in the government, why are you here? that documents that this is an essential industry in the jurisdiction they're in. And um, that can, you have to make sure that that type of documentation gets all the way down to anybody you may be deploying to a project. Excellent. So obviously if we have any questions uh, related to uh, obviously anything we're talking about, we should all be going to the NRCA website anyway. Yeah, that's correct. You go to nrca.net and, and you've got a lot, there's just a lot of great information there. <clears throat> you know, we saw all this information coming at us, and but what we were reading, we saw was not always accurate. So the things that we're putting up on our website related to COVID-19 have been carefully vetted for accuracy so that you can, so that the information there is reliable. And, and remember though, that this is a changing dynamic environment. And so what was, was reliable two weeks ago, we might have to pull off and put something new in its place because of the changing dynamic. 